Hey guys, a civil society group, Labour Civil Society Front, has warned that any attempt by the judiciary to reward unscrupulous politicians bent on imposing their self will on the people would be an open invitation to self help and anarchy. Addressing newsmen on Sunday in Abuja. Convenance of the group led by Ulisa Bakova, Comrade Sheusani, Amp, Koyo, Toyo, and Salusi Mohamed urged the judiciary, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, the legislature, and security service to resist any vicarious and corruptive pressure from state operators and politicians insisting on taking over the controlling, uh, over controlling them. The group said, as affected individuals and parties, resort to the courts as the main conflict resolving mechanism. We hope that the judiciary, the final habitat, will ensure that the manifestors of those powerful individuals and their corrupt allies will not be rewarded, but rather they will be discredited and punished. It is in the light of this hope that we are calling on all Nigerians to believe again, not in INEC, not in the executive, but in the judiciary, and give the judiciary the benefits of the doubt. In the same vein, we are calling on the justice of the Court of Appeal and the Supreme Court to rise up to the occasion by resulting the people's confidence in the processes that were abused by INEC and also stem the deep decline of our democracy. In the meantime, we are aware that should the judiciary fail to act, it will amount to a denial of justice and an invitation to self-help and anarchy. Why committing, com committing to ensure political leadership was not foreseated on Nigeria, and Nigerians are the expense of the democratic gains made so far, the accused INEC and the various security agencies of compromising their duties at the just concluded elections. Nigeria suffered a monumental reversal in our electoral and democratic gains through the criminal mismanagement of the electoral process by the INEC and its security agencies, who both compromised their duties and donated their power of election, referee, referee and law enforcement to unscrupulous politicians bent on imposing their self-will over and above that of the people. Hmm. Nigerians, what's your take on this? As you can see, Nigerians are still very angry with the outcome of the just-conducted presidential election. They are still saying that INEC deceived Nigerians. INEC betrayed Nigerians. They did not keep their promise. They even went against the electoral law of 2022. In a same country, this INEC chairman should not go scot free. This is what Nigerians are now talking about. And also, they are now saying that, see, judiciary, we are now in your hands. If Nigeria is going forward, it's you that will determine that. Now this case is in the court. You have to stand firm. Don't be compromised by any politicians or whatever. They also talked about Nigerian security agencies. They said they did not like the role they played. They acted as if they were also compromised, just like the INEC. Honestly speaking, Nigerians are not happy with the outcome of, outcome of the, the just conducted presidential election. But funny enough, the APC, Members are still telling us that that election was free and fair. INEC chairman will still tell you that that election was free and fair. The best election so far 
in the history of Nigeria, Nigerians. Now it's like this. How will this, how will this be shaped? Because Nigerians are calling the, uh, the judiciary to please, oh, when I see this matter when they grant now, we will not get hope again. You know, when they talk, say, na court, na judiciary, na be the poor man hope now. So, na, una hand Nigeria day now. If this country is going to, you know, uh, result to something else, now na hand, na una go cause some, na na go determine whether Nigeria will continue, you know, to exist or not. So it's not led for Nigerian judges to understand that this is what you are called for. You know the truth. Do not allow anybody, you know, to twist you because of whatever. That is what Nigerians are saying. You understand? You see, like what I always say here, we should not be talking about these uh, people going to court saying they were rigged out, you know, for uh, in, in the just past uh, presidential election if INEC actually did the real thing. You understand? INEC not try. Make we stop to recover the truth. INEC not try. For the first time in history, Nigerians came out in mass. They want their voice to be heard. To them, they want to change the narrative. They are tired. But what did they get? They were all betrayed. All the promises made by the INEC, he could not even fulfill any. Can we even call that an election? It'd be like child's play. He spent billions of naira. For a good two years, INEC was busy preparing for this election. Honestly speaking, which side said person will even hope again for this country? Because the way the whole thing is going, I said, we now understand. So coming back to this, this group, this civil society group, they are telling judiciary, say, see, Nigeria and they your hand though. If you want this Nigeria to move forward, is in your hand. So guys, make a drop and for you. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for this coming.